ho 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 and a merry christmas to you coming from a very festive gal in a very festive red lip with a very festive christmas cup of tea christmas backdrop guys i cannot explain to you how cozy this room feels every evening when i've put my toddler to bed and i come and chill in here and i come and pretend as if i'm gonna be able to stay up until 9 p.m to watch i'm a celeb because i'm desperate to get into it this year and then i end up going to bed 8 p.m but those that one hour when I'm in here admiring the Christmas tree, coziest hour of my entire day. Guys, it's time to grab your Christmas cup of tea if you haven't already. My Christmas cup of tea choice of mug today is obviously Emma Bridgewater. Christmas cup of tea and a hot mince pie. Christmas cup of tea I can get on board with you with, Emma. Um, hot mince pie, I have to draw the line though. I'm just not a mince pie gal, don't know about anybody else. Old wine, I can be enticed with, okay, as my taste palette has matured over the last two years you know if you throw some cinnamon and orange cloves and whatever else goes in the mulled wine in there i can get on board with that but min mince pie are just i'm just not a mince pie gal soothing in the hurly burly of christmas absolutely and in the room it says watching a robin on the frosty bird table i don't have a bird table either emma but i can again get on board with that christmas fantasy so guys welcome back is it not honestly the best time of year can i just first of all start this video by saying a huge huge thank you for all of the love on my festive content since the start of november if you guys haven't seen i uploaded a big christmas primark shop with me vlog and of course my decorate with me for christmas which you guys seem to be absolutely loving and it really means the world to me if you guys haven't seen those i'll leave them linked below but i thought today we could get into a bit of gift giving now i am not gonna lie i have genuinely not even thought twice about presents yet this year i feel like i have a million and one other things to do before we get to that point but i did do a big shop in b&m yesterday and when i was there i kind of had a bit of a light bulb moment go off because you guys have been asking me for gift guides you guys know me i don't think my love for b&m is ever going to die spring summer autumn winter b&m suits us all i personally believe they particularly come alive when i'm looking for stocking fillers so when i was in there yesterday i thought it would just be a nice little idea to show you guys what you can get in a stocking for her, for him, and for a toddler called Saint who is one years old, who is a little boy. If you happen to have any other little toddler, little one year old boys in your life who are Paw Patrol obsessed. I do understand, of course, the baby stocking is definitely not applicable to everybody watching this video, but I did think I would include it because I know that I do have a few um like-minded mums like me that asking me what I'm getting him for Christmas. And they had some absolutely fab things in there so i stuck to 50 pounds per stocking each stocking is actually relatively full there there's quite a lot in each stocking and um i also thought it might be a nice little christmas giveaway I'd actually send one of you guys all of these stockings or one individually depending on um you know whether or not you need the baby's one or if the person wins it has a has a daughter i'll go back to b&m and make a little girl's one so if you'd like to win these stockings then just give me a comment below make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let me know what your christmas wish is this year let me know who you'd like to give these stockings to make sure you leave your instagram handle as well because i'll dm you one there and um i'll get that out before the end of the week so merry christmas let's begin so let's start with let's start with my one for her so first of all the stocking i included in the price the stocking is eight pounds they did have ones like i'll show you saints one of course by the way for the giveaway winner i'll go back and get a personalized letter one from there but um i got s for saint they had s for saint and c for com but they didn't have an e for la or m for mum even but luckily they did have these really nice other ones which is has father christmas on on the top which is quite nice the stocking was eight pounds so maybe that's down to 42 inside we have first of all a little christmas eve hamper which i thought was really really cute it's six pounds and you get so much in here for the six pounds in my opinion you get a mug socks a hot chocolate mix a gingerbread cookie candy canes a marshmallow sugar and chocolate flavor candy spoon and i'm not gonna lie those socks 
are a bit of me. Has anybody else started wearing cosy socks yet? Because I know I definitely have. I traipse around this house in my duvet dressing gown and my cosy socks and I have absolutely zero shame about it. Connor knew what he was wearing, babe, right? This obviously does not have to be for her. This could also be for him. This could also be for kids. I don't know which one to go with next because they're all so good. I don't want you thinking like I'm picking my favourites first and saving the best till last, but they're honestly all so good. Saw this thought this was a bit of us guys okay this is a moonlight sorry bnm she turned into a spiritual queen this was seven pounds and this is a color changing 3d lunar light it includes a remote and creates a relaxing ambiance also just thought it was a little stunning piece of room decor to be honest even if you've not turned it on loved that thought it was really really up our street under the same kind of umbrella of topic i also picked up this to go in her stocking it's the three pound fifty mini himalayan salt lamp it's the perfect size it's so little just to go on like a bedside table or your desk or something at work and i think three pound fifty okay what can you really get for that nowadays not much not much like two face masks or a packet of sweets not even a big bucket of popcorn at best honestly actually so three pound fifty for himalayan salt lamp i actually thought it was really good next in her stocking i picked up this because what's christmas without a little christmas game i picked up family showdown this one was five pounds it says it's a two-in-one game set including a family quiz it says what type of music would i turn off if i heard it on the radio if you're playing this game with me the answer would be machine gun kelly my husband is currently going through a punk rock phase and it just destroys my inner peace to be really honest with you i'm joking i love punk rock but when it's 8 a.m and i'm having a cup of tea i just can't vibe with it as much as i potentially could later in the day do you know what i mean and then the other one is a back to the drawing board game which is one of those games where you sketch it out basically and people guess what you're drawing so uh, like what's christmas really if you don't have a game like that it's one of those things that i feel like unless you put it in a stocking you might actually forget to pick it up unless you have some in the cupboard like me i literally this cupboard down here is dedicated to christmas time games because I did always want to be that mum, so I've been saving them up for about five years. So if you're spending Christmas at my house, don't worry, babe, because I've got you covered. But I know some people aren't as prepared. Next. Okay, now, could you tell I was thinking of myself when I did this? Five pounds chocolate blondie skillet. Okay, this is all from B&M, guys. Can we actually take a minute? B&M. And you get a miniature pot of Nutella and a bar of Kinder and a whole baking kit for five pounds in a skillet to make chocolate blondie. If that doesn't scream, boxing day snack. I was gonna say dessert. Boxing day is all dessert. Next, see I'm actually wondering if I did actually go a little bit overboard on the fifth. I'm gonna do the maths. Oh no, it appears as if I actually did hit 50 on the, on the dot, but you wouldn't think it. All of this guys, right? This is a full stocking. Six pounds, Rose Quartz Facial Roller. I have wanted one of these, you don't know how long for. Apparently they are amazing. And so I thought that was a really, really good addition for a her stocking. Little pamper session, of course. I think these were $1.99 each. I just picked up Garnier Moisture Bombs. Um, one for daytime, one for nighttime. Bit of skincare can never go amiss in, in anyone's stocking actually and then the last oh these are same was playing with these okay so the labels come off but the last item in the stocking for her is these five pounds time to dream four pack of cozy socks so in my stocking you get these four and the ones in the christmas eve hamper you get five packs of cozy socks that covers you from christmas eve to new year's day basically now tell me you don't want to enter the giveaway for this stocking so i can't lie i think i smashed that one to be fair hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of inspo my friends in the back i'm talking to you for how easy it is just to pop on down to b&m and just get the love of your life a little you know something something okay next let's do men's now i can't lie guys okay i'm not going to lie every year when i do my stockings or my gift guides one for connor is actually the one i don't like the most okay i'm just gonna put it out there and admit it i do kind of feel a bit like you know okay anywhere you search any google search any shop you go into it's like men's stocking fillers it's like beard trimmer star wars mug 
Toblerone. None of that excites me, okay? And I tried my best with this one. I, I really did. But let's see what I came up with. So here's C for con. First of all, of course, I did pick up some Chucky. Now look at this selection box guys a box full of chocolate happiness babe right 10 pounds so it did take up a bit of the budget because these named stockings or the um lettered ones are nine pounds a pop so that plus the chocolate is already nearly half of the budget but when i saw this i thought you actually cannot beat that so in here you get a milk tray bag of twirls that connor actually claims okay this is a fun fact about connor connor has always claimed his favourite ever variation of chocolate is twirl. Name me one time in our entire relationship of nearly nine years, he's bought a twirl. Never in my life. So I will be eating those. But anyway, you get a milk tray, um, Cadbury's hot chocolate, a Cadbury choco sandwich, what? What? Cadbury choc chip cookies, 12 bites, a dairy milk bar, and I think that's it, but listen, if he doesn't scoff those, I will. I know I was just talking bad about Star Wars mugs. This one doesn't have the price on it, but I'm pretty sure this one was £6. They had so many. They had Xbox stuff, they had PS4 stuff, they had, oh, what's that other one? Like Minecraft, things like that. They basically had like every franchise of men's stuff you can think of, they had it. And if you guys don't know anything about Connor, he is a huge Marvel fan. So there's a Captain America mug in here and yeah, a pack of Marvel socks. So lots of good stuff like that to pick from. Now, what would Christmas be if you have a man in your life without a link set this is the Lynx africa we've got body spray body wash and deodorant in here and a wash bag and i actually didn't write down how much this one was but i think this one was about five pounds i can't lie b and m don't really have like the most exquisite variation of scents and colognes for men but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of Lynx, babe honestly quick spritz hmm you smell nice you know what else did we pick up oh okay going on from my games evening if you can't tell even if you aren't a fan of games you're still forced into them here with um an eleanor swift christmas or a pack of charades for two pounds fifty they had loads of variations of games this kind of size for two pound fifty they had like general knowledge quiz sports quiz film and tv quiz but i thought charades would be the funnest and then lastly now this this was a big this was a big investment into the stocking this is like main present okay this was 18.99 and it's the babyliss eight in one all over grooming kit what do you get oh i think it's just a razor but you've got loads of different cutting heads for different parts of the body Con is literally always saying to me that his shaver is broken or that like his shaver needs charging or i don't even know so Oh, it also includes cleaning brush and oil. So there we go. And you get a three-year guarantee. So what's not to love, really? So do you see what I mean about the men's? It's not quite as exciting as the girls. You don't get a pink Himalayan miniature salt lamp for £3.50. But you do get a beard trimming kit. So that was his. And then on to my personal favourite one. Now, like I said in the introduction, I know that a stocking for a child is definitely not applicable to everybody watching this video. Um, but before I became a mum, I didn't realise how much B&M genuinely is like the holy grail of entertaining my son. So Saint is nearly a year and a half and he is really becoming excited by toys like toys every parent is kind of like oh he doesn't need any more toys like those kind of toys you know one of the days of like cute baby sensory cards my son likes monster trucks ride on horses building blocks tend like remotes and mobile phones hot wheels like he's into it all okay but if I say so myself, I think you can get a lot B&M for £50 for a child stocking. So let's show you what I got. First of all, I was really impressed by these because they're £5 and it's a pack of Christmas pyjamas. And they did them in literally so many sizes, something that I think is quite rare. They literally did them in like zero to three months all the way up to like age 10 so if you want your children to be matching with their christmas pajamas go to b&m because they have these it just says sand stop here it's these like candy cane themed pjs thought they'd be really cute in like a christmas eve box or something because everybody needs to have christmas eve pjs next i also picked up this little book set now 
if you don't want how much was this i think this was like eight pounds again this was quite quite pricey in the 50 pounds budget but if you didn't want to spend eight pounds bnm literally have books for like two pounds so there's loads of variations that you can get but i thought this one was really nice because you get the that's not my elf book and if you guys don't know what the that's not my thing is they do it for like horses cats like everything you can think of it's just a really lovely little baby like sensory kind of book and you also get a little cuddly elf with it as well so i thought that was quite sweet could be a christmas eve book could pop in the christmas eve box could just be something that you read through december but they definitely had loads of really like lovely christmas themed books in there and i have already actually touched on it in a vlog a couple of weeks ago when i went to bnm when i was vlogging but they are actually also doing like book advent calendars which i thought was really lovely i think they're about 10 pounds and they have so many different variations they have disney princesses marvel the gruffalo but they're just something a little bit different to like a chocolate advent calendar and every day you have a new little booklet to read and it's really sweet and again if you want to just like spend a tenner on that instead of something like eight pounds on that then you can so i thought this was a really lovely christmasy activity to do this was five pounds and this is paint your own christmas decoration so i know that if you're like putting stuff in a stocking they're opening it on christmas day so you probably don't be painting christmas decorations on christmas day or boxing day but maybe you do but i thought this was a nice thing to include if you want to give it to them on christmas eve or just like a little nice christmas activity to do in the school holidays or on a weekend or something but you get 12 casts like this six paint pots two glitter glues 12 ribbons and a paintbrush and i'm actually going to do that with saint in december because i just think you can keep it forever now i'm gonna get emotional but bnm can give you sentimental value for a lifetime of a bauble for just five pounds and a little Christmas stocking that you do, you know? Next, oh, Saint actually, <laughs> this was the first thing that went in the basket because Saint picked these out specifically to show you guys. He was very excited. As I said, Saint is obsessed with Hot Wheels and he loves these cars. Now, I think these packs are about eight pounds and you get five Hot Wheels in them. This one, he picked Hot Wheels Unleashed. He's literally got like every variation of the, this pack that you can get. Um, but you can also get, I think, one car or maybe it's two for like four or five pounds. So again, there's a difference in budget if if you want. They are honestly, like if you have a child that is into cars, they are such a good stocking filler. And then of course the Hot Wheels franchise also all sold at B&M there's so much of it. Like you've got a big racetrack and stuff like that. But this is all stuff you learn when you become a mum to a little boy called saint and then finally you guys don't even know battle i had with my toddler about keeping these toys in pristine conditions for this video okay over the past 12 hours that these toys have been in this house there's been you know there's been some cause for concern let's put it that way as you can see this one nearly did not make it we have a little rip but B&M are doing two toys for £20 and they are really, really good toys. They have so many, so, like it's like three full aisles of like two for £20 on these toys and basically every toy that you can think of. But this is what I picked up for Saint specifically. Got him some Paw Patrol themed walkie talkies. Saint is in a phase where he absolutely loves picking up my phone or Connor's phone and putting it to his ear and being like talking to the phone, pretending he's on the phone to someone. So I thought a walkie talkie would be a really good idea for him and then he'll be like oh my god what how is my mum's voice going through the other walkie talkie and can you tell that this is the stuff i've been dreaming of for so many years then i must admit this is probably saint's favorite thing out of the whole whole stocking and they even trump the hot wheels it's i don't even know what they are it's a two pack of cars basically they're racing vehicles <laughs> Anyone wants to know what the soundtrack to my house is like? So yeah, just um, just a really cute little little stocking for a toddler or a child or you know whoever you see fit in your life. But there is so much there for kids, and obviously, as I keep saying, that is specific to having my little boy. But there is so much variety there for a child of any 
age or interest or anything even stuff for like baby babies like newborns there's some stuff there so I really recommend anyway that is my little collection of Christmas stockings that I did from B&M this year guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I gave you a little bit of inspo if any of you guys are stuck on gift ideas or stocking filler ideas this year I am really excited to give all of these to one of you guys so if you want to be in with a chance to win the stockings then please do let me know below but I just want to thank you all once again for your love and kindness on my recent videos and your excitement with me for the festive content I know how much we all love Christmas content and I'm just really really excited to be doing it so I love you all so much thank you so much for watching this video my love make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye guys